హలో ఎవరి వన్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఏకేఎస్ ఐఏఎస్ మెయిన్ శిక్షణ ఫ్రీ ఇనిషియేటివ్ దిస్ ఈస్ సంతోష్ కోక టుడేస్ క్వశ్చన్ ఈస్ రిలేటెడ్ టు అవర్ సోషల్ జస్టిస్ టాపిక్ క్వశ్చన్ ఫర్ ట్వంటీ థర్డ్ జూలై ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ ఎగ్జామ్ ఇన్ ద రిలేషన్షిప్ బిట్వీన్ మెటర్నల్ హెల్త్ అండ్ జెండర్ ఈక్వాలిటీ అనలైజ్ ద ఎఫెక్టివ్నెస్ ఆఫ్ గవర్నమెంట్ స్కీమ్స్ ఎయిమ్ నెట్ ఇంప్రూవింగ్ మెటర్నల్ హెల్త్ ఇన్ ఇండియా సో బిఫోర్ రైటింగ్ అవర్ ఆన్సర్ వి నీడ్ టు ఫాలో అవర్ త్రీ స్టెప్ స్ట్రాటజీ దట్ ఈస్ స్మార్ట్ టెక్నిక్ ఫస్ట్ స్టెప్ ఈస్ క్వశ్చన్ రీడింగ్ ఇన్ దిస్ స్టెప్ we need to identify how many parts are there in the question right there are two parts first one is relationship between maternal health and gender equality and second one is effectiveness of government schemes to improve maternal health in india right next one what is the important topic here maternal health in india is the major topic right so apart from that what are the important question tags are there exam mine is the important question tag here we need to examine examine examination means we need to assume that examiner knows something but we need to give some depth information regarding the topic right that is called examine so already we have given 15 important most important question tags in a separate video we have already discussed in a separate video please watch it because question tags are important regarding our main answer writing they play a major role in the answer writing part okay so apart from that we have analyze analyze means analysis analysis means we need to give some positives and negatives including our facts important facts or reports or something right we need to justify our important points here also right in one minute we need to complete our first step that is question reading also we have some important keywords also relationship between maternal health and gender equality is the important keyword apart from that effectiveness is also one important keyword government schemes and also right effectiveness of government schemes aimed at improving maternal health in india that is the case here so next important step here brainstorming in the brainstorming step we need to recall all the information related to our topic here so many schemes are there schemes are regarding our maternal health right and also so many uh, recent developments or recent examples or recent reports are there right for example we have national family health survey or global gender gap report all those important aspects related to our topic need to be recalled here right in the brainstorming session that is within one minute and also third step is we need to write our answer without any lag because already we have spent two minutes time for question reading and also brainstorming so in the third step if we follow these two techniques or steps we can complete this presenting our answer in six minutes totally we can complete our whole answer in eight minutes only right that is the importance of this taking three steps before writing answer so coming to our approach to this question first we need to start with a decent introduction we need to include recent current affairs related to our particular topic whenever you start a introduction we have to write with current affairs introduction plus then we need to include also static information what are the important recent issues are there according to national family health survey five uh, recently maternal mortality ratio has also been decreasing right that is also we can include here right all those are important other than that we have global gender gap report right that is also we can included here in this india got 127th rank right that is also important so next we need to give some recent data that is also uh, that already we have discussed here so we can include those two important within two paragraph right introduction should be in a uh, two paragraph small paragraph next we need to go for body part here relationship between maternal health and gender equality exactly what the keywords are there in the question we need to present here right that is the important here we need to focus on relationship between maternal health and gender equality here first one is health health access health access means accessing our health care is very very important women with access to comprehensive maternal health care are more likely to survive child birth especially leading to healthier families and communities that will lead to economic participation how healthy mothers are better able to participate in the workforce right so contributing to economic growth and that leads to our declining poverty also right so next healthy healthy mothers 
can educate our daughters or sons easily right healthy mothers are better able to participate in the workforce and also improved uh, maternal health outcomes lead to better educational opportunities for women and girls also as well. so healthier mothers can better support their children's education also right empowerment women empowerment or women education all the all those are important contemporary issues also till till now we are facing so next social status whenever women are having health access or economic participation or education and empowerment automatically they will get this social status also right when maternal health is prioritized it elevates the social status of women so next analysis here next what is the important keywords in the our question tag in the next part of the question analyze the effectiveness analysis we need to give some analysis right analyze the effectiveness of government schemes aimed at improving maternal health in india right so whatever we have schemes we need to include here recent important scheme first one is janani suraksha yojana here the scheme incentivizing uh, institutional deliveries to reduce maternal or neonatal mortality also right as per the ministry of recent survey ministry of health and family welfare so institutional deliveries have increased recently also that Uh, that is a significant step here so we can include all these type of examples or facts next pradhan mantri matru vandana yojana also very important scheme here we need to include according to recent uh, this uh, t1 uh, report over 1.75 crore women over uh, 1.75 crore women have benefited since its inception also right that is important here next surakshit matratva ashwasan case uh, suman suman scheme also was there so ensues zero tolerance for maternal deaths and provides free health care services to pregnant women especially right early reports re- recent reports indicates that improvements in maternal health services delivery though comprehensive data is still forthcoming right surakshit matrutva ashwasan very very important so next coming to our challenges here we need to mention challenges why challenges here analyze keyword is there so effectiveness they ask only for effectiveness but we need to give negatives also negatives means here challenges problems what are the uh, what are we are uh, having problems whatever we are having problems we need to include first one is accessibility rural and remote areas are lacking these type of adequate healthcare facilities and skilled health personnel also very important so awareness and education also one important here so many women are still aware unaware of uh, available schemes whatever they have schemes and their benefits they kn- they don't know about all these schemes limiting their reach and effectiveness also and also nutritional deficiencies especially malnutrition and anemia like uh, incidents among pregnant women continue to be significant issues right so apart from these uh, we have as a patriotic society cultural ba- barriers are still having or uh, till now right societal norms and gender bi- biases often restrict our women's access to healthcare services that is also important point we need to give each and every point with relevant examples also next coming to whatever we have challenges we need to give some solutions to that right here needed measures first one is improving infrastructure here we need to give some uh, inputs to improve our healthcare system enhancing healthcare infrastructure in rural and remote areas to ensure our maternal health services properly right next education and awareness campaigns whatever they are lacking information regarding uh, the schemes and uh, benefits we need to educate them right we need to give our we need to aware them right so about maternal health scheme and services next nutritional support right implement targeted nutritional programs for pregnant women focusing on reducing especially whatever we have uh, they are facing issues uh, like anemia or malnutrition right next policy integration also very important here so apart from these all these issues or measures we need to identify this policy integration integrating our maternal health programs with broader gender equality initiatives to address cultural and societal are society barriers right very important point so apart from that right at the end of the uh, uh, 
needed measures we need to conclude with a 1 to 1 and half futuristic note right 1 to 1 and half line futuristic note that is if we follow above measures or whatever we have uh, empowering women or promoting our economic participation to them or more equitable society will see if uh, whenever with focused or continued focus on innovation India can pave the way for a future where maternal health and gender equality go hand in hand. Right? Here we need to connect just one to one and a half line with a futuristic note. We can connect with a, our goals like women empowerment or uh, we have social justice, right? Equitable society or uh, society, right? Uh, gender equality something right other than that we can include our sustainable development goals also right that is the important or best approach to this question so next let's see today's question or answer written by sindhu daneti right recently the government of india announced a significant increase in the budget allocation for pradhan mantri matru vandana yojana a crucial scheme for improving maternal health very good here she has included current affairs introduction first. Next, according to the sample re registration system, India's maternal mortality rate has dropped to 97 per 000, uh, 1 lakh live births in 2022. Very good. Recent data also here included. So, relationship between maternal health. Next, coming to our body part, she has included Economic empowerment, first first thing, healthy mothers are likely to participate in the workforce, better, better maternal health reduces the economic burden on families and all, right? So, first important thing, social empowerment, automatically, whenever they, uh, they get health or education and empowerment, they will automatically get social status, right? Next, promoting gender equality also. Next, educational opportunities, improved maternal health leads to child better child health and development increasing livelihood of children also very important thing next poverty and gender inequality coming to political empowerment also very important good point included here healthy women are more likely to participate in the political processes advocating for their rights and contributing to policy making right analysis of government schemes uh, second part of the question so pradhan mantri matru vandana yojana we have so many for the first live birth to increase health checkups, challenges are there. Uh, she has included one by one uh, each challenge to each point, right? Delays in fund disbursement and limited coverage for the Pradhan Mantri Matru Vana Yojana. And also Janani Suraksha Yojana. Here, inconsistent implementation in an adequate healthcare infrastructure also one challenge. Portion Abhiyan also focuses on improving nutritional outcome here. So, especially here, the challenge is integration with other services and reaching marginalized communities also important challenge for portion of beyond like schemes. Next, Ayushman Bharat provides health insurance and access to quality healthcare services. Right? For this, accessibility in remote areas and quality of healthcare facilities is also one important challenge. So, finally, strengthening these schemes though better coordination through better coordination or targeted interventions is essential for achieving further progress in maternal health and promoting gender equality. So, she has included uh, some needed measures in the conclusion parts only. Okay, that's good. No problem. But we need to uh, include separately uh, because for the impression or uh, recognition here, right? We need to uh, write separately like needed measures separate side heading then it will would uh, looks good right okay so next coming to out of the uh, entire syllab uh, our answer uh, something it looks clumsy so give some gaps in between uh, uh, each and every paragraph okay coming to uh, introduction good introduction and given good data and also uh, coming to first part of the question each and everything are good but we need to give some examples here so uh, here you have included two points but one point is enough here you can add one example right each and everything we need to give one example right one one point plus one example is our choice here right our strategy technique right so next 
so second part is good including uh, each and every aspect or uh, uh, scheme having one challenge that is included very good very well so finally included needed measures also in the conclusion part here we need to connect our conclusion part as a futuristic note to the sdgs or whatever we have gender equality or whatever women empowerment etc right we need to give some uh, futuristic note here it we need to connect with our goals right so overall uh, good attempt so here we can give five and of out of 10 marks here very good good writing so keep writing every day so regularly if you write regularly automatically we can achieve our target six and a half or plus right so tomorrow's question for main section uh, question for 24th july 2024 that is day 25 examine the current state of cyber security and data privacy in india what steps are necessary to strengthen india's cyber security framework this is related to our subject science and technology very important concept cyber security right so write your answers and upload in the assignment section of aks app that is given in the video description all the details how to upload so many are asking in the comments please check video description you have details there please click the link and go to the aks app right thank you very much all the very best